to start out our New Year's preparation since guys, it's officially that time of year. I feel like last year we had so much fun, or at least I had a lot of fun prepping all of my New Year's stuff and doing it with you guys. And this year I'm super excited to do it again. And we're gonna start off with my closet. So I actually started this vlog yesterday slash last night when I went out and did some Christmas shopping with Larissa and Mike, my photographer slash videographer, and then came back here and started to clean out my closet right away to basically prep for some of the new things that I purchased recently, but also to get it ready because I knew today I wanted to go through and basically finalize a lot of my style moving into 2019. So first things first, let's cut back to last night because I feel like before we can, you know, rearrange or reorganize or declutter or prep our closets for the new year, we need to clean them. Hey, I feel like I gotta get closer to you guys. You seem so far away. So I actually picked up quite a few things over the last little bit to kind of change up my vibe. You guys know that when I dyed my hair, I was kind of like rebranding myself. Not that the holidays is necessarily the best time to do that, but I feel like the new year is. You gotta buy gifts for other people, but you also gotta get some gifts for yourself. Hence why I need to do a big re-clean of my closet. Just also super fitting because I'm doing today's video with Just Fab and Just Fab itself, whole mantra is to play around with your style and test out new things and basically try new vibes. Actually verbatim, their mantra is that all women are beautiful and that style has no limits. Style is an attitude and anyone can wear it. So lately my style and like my vibe with going dark and just changing everything up for the new year kind of crunch down the decisions that I make on a daily basis. I'm trying to keep things in a certain color scheme. I'm trying to kind of keep things in certain styles that I know that I wear often and just picking out things that I know are all kind of go together in some type of way. But even with my closet, when I was putting all my new stuff away, I picked out colors that were in the color scheme that I knew was basically going to be all my new neutrals. These have been like my go-to. I'm obsessed with the white booties look. Like, can we just, and these are, these are like a mix. I don't know how to explain these. These remind me of like space girl shoes because they're kind of cowboy boots, but they're also kind of like space galactic and they're also kind of like chic and white. And then gray booties because if you guys know the whole catcher gray booty thing, I have a pair of gray booties that are my lucky gray booties and I figured we could add another pair of gray booties to the mix. And then these ones as well, which have been nice for the fact that it hasn't been snowing too much yet and just like, and also going to be so cute. Even for fall time next year, these are so utober. And I also got to like kind of staple bags. So this bag can be like anytime I'm wearing brown booties, I can wear this bag or black booties even. And with deciding to do neutrals, I think the only little pop of color I'm gonna allow is like a blush tone because it, ultimately that's just like, even when I do a lot of stuff online, it's always like blushes and like baby blues. So this is like at the same purse, but in blush. And I just feel like these are nice little staples to go with every outfit. And now I don't need to buy like a million purses. If you just have your couple staples in your couple staple colors and staple styles that basically read true to who you are, then you can build a lot of outfits out of having a lot less things. So if you guys are doing some shopping online and you guys want to grab some of your own go-to styles for the new year, or maybe you're doing a little bit of post Christmas shopping, I don't know. But if you guys head over to my link, justfab.com slash Kayla Nicholson, you guys will get 50% off your entire order. Like half, you'll get half off. Kind of insane, especially when it comes to shoes. Shoes and books. Those are the two probable things that will be very hard for me to give up down my journey of minimalism. First things first. Let's do this. today. Now that my closet is clean, I'm ready to go through it and I'm basically going to go section by section and, and start making cuts. Now here's the way that I've pretty much planned this and I'll try and do a little video overlay to give you guys a bit more of a visual because otherwise it might be a bit confusing. I'm going to have three piles. There's going to be a keep pile, a maybe pile, and a goodbye pile. I'm going for three main sections when it comes to changing up my style for the new year. Now that is colors, season, and style. So overall style that I'm going for, which for
for me is usually like, or at least right now in my life, I feel like my overall mood has been kind of like fit, casual, but also cute. Having a few outfits for events and stuff, it's also super important. So that is the main overall style that I'm going for. And seasonally, obviously it's winter. So we're gonna make sure that all of those things fit into like a winter, you know, weather kind of mood. And then last but not least, the color range that I'm gonna kind of try and stay into. Now this might sound really intense guys, but honestly, these are little tips and tricks that are helping me get closer to minimizing my lifestyle. And that is ultimately the goal. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. It could take me 10 freaking years, but all I know is that narrowing down just the things that I don't have to make a choice about on a daily basis, free myself to use that energy on other things in life. Let's begin. I'm basically gonna go in section by section with all of the hanging ones and then I'm gonna go drawer by drawer and I'm going to make sure that it all fits into the three main categories of season, style, and color. And if it does, if I love it enough to keep it, to maybe keep it if I can find a place for it or get rid of it and donate it if I don't plan on keeping it. So let's get started. This is my maybe pile that I'm going to basically tuck away into my locker and hopes that in the next month or two, basically by spring, I feel like I'm going to say by spring, if I haven't pulled any of these back out and want them, then I'm going to eventually donate them. Just to go easy on myself so I'm not being too like unrealistic and just, I don't know. And then this pile is my definitely not it's time to say goodbye pile. So I'm going to bundle all this up with the stuff that I'm donating and take a good load to Goodwill. Which leaves me with my official closet for the new year. I'm honestly, guys, so excited and so obsessed. Like looking at my closet right now just feels so good. And I feel like I did it in a way that one was a little bit more realistic and two, was just like a good start for the new year, you know? I wasn't being too drastic and I decided to keep a little bit of color with my shoes. So I feel like that was like a healthy balance for now. And really quick, let me give you guys a tour of my style and my closet swap slash declutter aftermath for the new year and then we'll wrap up this video. So first things first, here is the overview. I did switch out some of the shoes, but I'll give you guys a brief explanation without going too much into detail since I know you guys have seen my closet. Same as before, this side of the closet is basically more casual everyday wear. This side is more like dressier, nicer clothes. Mostly on a day to day basis, I hang out on this side of the closet. So these are like my cozy sweaters, if that makes any sense. And I kept everything in the same kind of color scheme. These are sweaters that I pulled out from last year, so they're a little wrinkly, but it's basically a matter of keeping gray, white, black, and blush. So those are like the main colors that I have for my sweaters. And then this is more like fitness sweaters and wear. Um, and then same with the drawers down below. This whole section has like my reading socks, extra blankets, backpacks for like sleeping over places or traveling. And then my everyday jackets, which I also tried to keep in the same kind of color scheme, except I added more taupes and like blues with my jean jackets because I just didn't want to get rid of them. Over here we have my glasses. These are my reading glasses. And then these are my everyday sunglasses, just easy to go and grab. Back there we have all my reading socks. Underwear drawer, so I'm not gonna show you, but this drawer, I ended up doing a reorganization of my fitness and stuff and kept everything again in the same color groups as up here. So it all kind of goes together and that means everything that I have in my drawers and hanging up will all piece together into like nice outfits. And then this drawer is more of a casual drawer with my everyday black leggings. I can work out in them, but these are just like plain black in case I want to wear them more casually too. I don't have to pick them out of the fitness ones. Those are extra fitness tops, like more running tops. And then these are all my casual t-shirts, which I didn't do a color scheme with. I just kind of kept them in the more neutral, just more neutral because like logos, I don't know, logos are pretty colorful. So, And then this side is pajamas and just like cotton kind of like shorts and stuff like that. This one I'm really proud of. This used to be full of sweaters that I just like, I don't know, I never really wore them but I didn't want to get rid of them. So a lot of those sweaters ended up in this pile over here. 
These are the sweaters that I ended up keeping that I just don't want to hang up because they don't really fit this color thing going above, but I also don't want to get rid of them. And then this section is new. This is going to be my seasonal section. So this is like totally not the colors that I normally vibe with. Like I don't normally wear red, but I love red at Christmas time. And since it's still currently Christmas time, I'm leaving all of my seasonal stuff a little bit more in the moment in this drawer, including even like Bentley stuff. And like, I have like these weird, like, <laughs> like kind of like, like, um, elf onesies and just like Christmas related things all up in here. I don't know what it will be like come the new year. I would think maybe just like switching it into more holiday, I guess stuff. And then these are my sweatpants suitcase. Same thing. I did reorganize some of my shoes, but they're not really all that important in this. I just kind of focus a lot more on like the hanging sections in the drawers. So on this side, you're going to see like more cardigans and sweaters and like even sweater dresses that turn more into more everyday sweaters that you can wear. And then here are more like wintry kind of like accessory jackets, vests and stuff like that. And then just shirts that you can wear with the things in the drawers below. So really quick above that, all of my toques and like pom-pom hats are lined up there. All of my blanket scarves are lined up underneath there. And then my bigger work purses for like when I'm going places that I need to bring my laptop are here. And then last but not least, I'll give you guys a quick tour of these drawers. So this first one is kind of almost like an equivalent to that drawer. This is kind of more like stylish Christmas stuff that I wanna rock over the next few days. So I've made this drawer kind of like a focus drawer over the week or two, especially if I'm planning content or like shooting imagery or doing videos for something in particular that I kind of have an idea of what I wanna wear in them. So these are all my Christmas outfits and like my Christmas slippers that I've planned out for when I go home to Kingston. This is just like my skirts and my more like billowy like brunch pants that are, are still kind of wintry enough that I could get away wearing them with like tights and stuff in the right shoe. And underneath that, this is my new, oh guys, if you could have seen this drawer before, I'm serious, like I'm in love. This is my jean drawer. So we have light jeans on this side, dark jeans on this side. And then these are like pants that fit like kind of jeans, but they're more material or like patterned. And then I have just like bodysuit booty things for when I'm wearing a bodysuit. Okay, this drawer did not change, I'm not gonna lie. This is my bathing suit drawer, which is kind of a hot mess because I have some stuff that I pulled out for vacation. And then in here, now that winter is officially here, this used to be filled with winter clothes when it was fall. Now I've filled it with clothes that are good for traveling. So if there's any kind of travel coming up over the next little bit, I have some jeans in here. I have everyday, like almost like mid-season clothes. They're easy to just grab from in here and I don't have to go down to the locker room and pull it all my summer and spring clothes if I'm traveling somewhere warm in the winter. So there you guys have it. That is it for my decluttering slash minimizing my closet and basically establishing my style, my go-to fit, and my go-to colors for the new year. If this inspires you guys to go through your own closet, definitely tweet or Instagram it at me so I can see your guys' little closet journey. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of my new year series since we're going to be doing a lot of videos with the new year coming up. So this is honestly just like part one of part many okay because there's quite a few new year things that i really want to do that's just gonna like freshen the whole freaking game for the new year i'm getting like way too excited for 2019 so thanks for making like eminem and uh cleaning out my closet with me that was such a cringy joke and with that i'm gonna leave because i've been filming all day today so i'm getting a little loopy anyways bye guys